I'm Kate Carney, a writer and presenter of a series of six 45-minute programs about women who made a difference at times when women didn't really exist legally. They were the property of husbands or fathers. They weren't supposed to be educated. They weren't supposed to own property. One such lady you probably never heard of is Paul Revere's mother-in-law, Mrs. Rachel Walker. Now, Mrs. Walker was the proprietor and host of the North Star Inn and Tavern in Boston's North End in the 1770s and 80s. And you know, there was a prominent American senator who a few years ago said, behind every successful man is a surprised mother-in-law. Well, that was Mrs. Walker. She was the mother of Rachel Walker Revere, and she ran her own inn and tavern. She raised two children, and she kept her family alive through all that chaos which was Boston before and during the American Revolution. I must Revolution. tell you that I was horrified when Paul Revere asked for my daughter Rachel's hand. The men were a revolutionary, not just a son of liberty, but a real radical, a rabble-rouser. Of course, at that time, I myself were English-American, not really ready to break away from England, but I didn't like the taxes. Well, things kept going downhill. Food were getting scarcer, prices were going higher. Something had to be done because some of the merchants were charging more and more, and we ladies were going to have to be the ones who did it. So we took action against one merchant, a Mr. Boylston, and they called it the Boston Coffee Party. It weren't a riot, but he needed to learn. It makes you mad, doesn't it? When rich people try to get richer by trying to push you poor people around. And then there were the winter of the siege, 75, 76. Things got even worse. And during that winter, I realized that King George would just keep pushing us around because his British Empire was so much bigger than Massachusetts Bay Colony. It were like David and Goliath, and we needed a David. And as I looked around, I saw that the only people who could be a David for us were Paul and those other rabble I hope you enjoyed this brief sample of what can be a most memorable presentation for your organization. I have a wide selection of heroic women you can talk to programs which can be tailored to your audience needs. The next step is for us to talk about your upcoming event and how I can help you. Thank you for watching.